No, you can't beat his Brooklyn rage. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 monsters in Joey Wheeler's deck. Battle God, give that card a bashing! For this list, we're paying tribute to the underdog of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and Yugi's best friend by recounting some of the most iconic slash powerful beasts in his deck. We won't be counting the scapegoats since it's a magic card that summons sheep tokens. If you've never seen these creatures on the dueling field, then there will be spoilers ahead. As always, this guy's on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which duelist you want us to cover next. Attack with Battle Blade Strike! Number 10, Panther Warrior. After filling his deck with a new assortment of powerful monsters, Joey was more than ready to compete in Battle City. Among his newer beasts was the swift and ferocious Panther Warrior. Bug Boy meet Panther Warrior! sacrifice in order to attack. With its mighty blade and a walloping 2,000 attack points, enemies best beware when this kitty is on the hunt. However, it has a special ability that might hinder its prowl a bit. Panther Warrior can't attack without tributing another monster. Yeah, baby! Thankfully, Joey easily solves this problem with the help of his scapegoat magic card. By feeding the panther one of his sheep tokens, this agile beast warrior is ready to pounce on anyone and anything in its path. So goodbye, scapegoat. Hello, panther attack! Number 9, The Claw of Hermos Fusions. And now, here's Hermos! During the Waking the Dragons arc, Joey harnessed the power of one of the legendary dragons, the Claw of Hermos, which can fuse with some of his most iconic monsters and transform them into equipable weapons with sneaky surprises. These include, but are not limited to, a mighty blade that increases its wielder's attack for every dragon in play, a hammer that banishes its opponent's monsters for a random amount of turns, and even a cannon that obliterates all enemy creatures and takes a massive chunk out of their life points. Probability of armor destruction, 100%. <laughs> If needed, he could also weaponize his opponent's monsters, or even let his best friend Yugi forge his own powerful tool to combat against Raphael. Joey, I can only accomplish this with your help. I summon the Claw of Hermos! Number 8, Rocket Warrior. Another one of Joey's notable assets for Battle City was this scrappy little soldier, the Rocket Warrior. Here it comes right now! I summon Rocket Warrior! Much like Joey, this miniature combatant isn't afraid to take on opponents that are tougher than it. Thanks to its special ability, while in invincible mode, it can't take battle damage when it goes against a stronger opponent head on. And now, Rocket Warrior, attack his catapult turtle! Inversely, the foe loses 500 attack points until the end of the turn after taking the full impact from the rocket. Honestly, the only real obstacle that Rocket Warrior has to face is someone redirecting the attack towards Joey instead, which unfortunately has happened once or twice. Hey! Oh well. Number 7, Gifried the Iron Knight. Legend tells of a warrior so powerful that he sealed himself away in a suit of iron. Thus, he forged himself into one of Joey's best monsters in the Battle City Tournament, Gearfried the Iron Knight. Not only does this soldier pack a punch, but his special ability also makes him immune to enemy equip cards. What's wrong? Why can't the parasite feed on it? He's Gearfried, the Iron Knight. 
And that slimy parasite's helpless against his metal armor. If needed, Joey can also activate the Release Restraint Magic Card to unlock Gearfried's full power as the legendary Gearfried the Swordmaster. Gearfried the Swordmaster! On a more somber note, the Iron Knight could have been the warrior to help Joey defeat the evil Marek for good, if Joey wasn't too exhausted and hurt to finish the duel. Seriously, it's infuriating how unfair that loss was. Joey! Number 6, Baby Dragon. Admittedly, at first glance, this scaly little tyke doesn't seem very threatening with a lightweight attack and defense. Baby Dragon! <laughs> but much like Joey himself, Baby Dragon just needs a little experience to really unlock its full potential. If luck is on his side, Joey is able to use his Time Wizard to help his infant monster grow into the Thousand Dragon, with twice the firepower and a thousand years worth of wisdom and ferocity. Attack with Inferno! Flame Bread! Or if that seems too risky, Joey can also fuse Baby Dragon with his Alligator's Sword to form the Alligator's Sword Dragon, which can avoid certain monsters and attack its opponents directly. For those who have heard that big things come in small packages, Baby Dragon is living proof of that. Baby Dragon, attack mode! Number 5, Guilford the Lightning. Out of all of Joey's warrior cards, very few can match the power of one of his ultimate fighting machines, Guilford the Lightning. Right off the bat, this combatant is a high level brute with a merciless 2800 attack points. Not only that, but if he was summoned by tributing three monsters instead of just two, Guilford can completely obliterate all monsters on his opponent's side of the field before even going into battle. It destroys every monster on my opponent's side! Guilford, attack! This means that unless you have a magical trap card handy, nothing will stand in the way of this soldier's mighty blade as it takes a chunk out of your life points. Number 4, Time Wizard. One of Joey's most noticeable dueling strategies is taking a risk with gambling, made evident with his rare Time Wizard monster. All right, it's the Time Wizard! When in play, this clockwork magician activates a roulette spell with a one in two chance of landing on a time engine or a skull. If it lands on a skull, it's and every monster on Joey's side of the field is destroyed, and Joey takes half the overall damage. Oh, and that's not all. Half the attack power of those monsters gets deducted from Joey's life points. If the gamble ends well, however, every monster on the field is aged up by a thousand years, which can unlock his baby dragon's untapped power as the thousand dragon and turn his opponent's creatures into withering fossils. Fortunately, time is usually on Joey's side thanks to his wizard. Uh, no, no, no! Number three, Jinzo. In his first duel of Battle City, Joey defeats the phony psychic Esperoba and wins his most powerful monster, Jinzo. Along with its psycho mantis like appearance and hefty 2400 attack points, this ghoulish machine has the ability to negate and obliterate all traps on the field, which is especially handy against an opponent with trap monster cards. Jinzo's special ability lets him destroy trap cards. Jinzo, wipe out his serpents! 
Out of all the prize monster cards Joey won during Battle City, the others being Insect Queen, The Legendary Fisherman, and Fortress Whale, Jinzo was the one he ended up using the most. Jinzo, strut your stuff! This is no surprise since it had one of the most useful special abilities and one of the most intimidating and awesome designs. Now, Jinzo, attack this chump directly! <laughs> Number two, Flame Swordsman. For the record, we know that the real world Flame Swordsman is a fusion monster. However, in the anime, it is treated as a normal monster and one of Joey's personal favorites. <laughs> Armed with his fiery saber, this warrior takes to the field and cuts any opponent down to size, especially if given a flaming power boost. As the years went by, the swordsman didn't see as much action as he used to, but his loyalty remained stronger than ever, not unlike Joey's loyalty to those he cares about. Swordsman, Salamander Flame Strike! If that weren't enough, Joey could also fuse his favorite monster with Yugi's iconic Dark Magician to create the devastating Dark Flare Knight which can also bring out the mystical Mirage Knight. Before we unveil Joey's best beast, here's some honorable mentions. Goblin! Attack Force! Bash him! What's that? It's a little something called Copycat. It lets me copy one card that you've used. that your monster's basically a wimp, swordsman, attack! Ah! All right, let's go. I play Alligator's Sword in attack mode. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Red Eyes Black Dragon After defeating Rex Raptor in Duelist Kingdom, Joey walked away with his most fearsome beast of all, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. With a whopping 2400 attack points, this rare deadly dragon is more than capable of blasting away any of its enemies. Inferno Fire Blast! Its power only grows when morphed into Red Eye's Black Metal Dragon, or when fused with Yugi's Summoned Skull to form the Black Skull Dragon. Along with being an iconic beast, Red Eyes is a perfect representation of Joey himself, an underdog compared to Yugi's Dark Magician or Kaiba's Blue Eyes, but never backing away from a challenge and with a fearsome temper if you cross them. Even when Joey temporarily lost Red Eyes, Yugi kept it safe as a symbol of the two's friendship. Nah, Yugi. You hold on to it. It isn't mine to take, pal. You want it fair and square. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 